Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're going to see a function for which we cannot find the limit for a particular value. The function is the step function. f of t is equal to 0 when t is less than 0, and it's equal to 1 when t is equal to 0 or greater than 0. Graphically, the function looks as follows. You can see that f of t is equal to 0 when t is, equal to, when t is less than 0, but then when t becomes 0 or greater than 0, it jumps to 1. So what does that look like as the limit, as we're trying to find the limit, as what we're trying to find here is what is the limit, what is the limit as t approaches 0 of the function f of t? What is that going to be equal to? Well, let's approach it, let's say that we plug in some values for t, and then we find the corresponding values for f of t. So let's say that t is equal to negative 2, so we start at negative 2, right here. And we move our, our way down to approaching 0. Well, when t is equal to negative 2, the function is equal to 0. When t is equal to negative 1, the function is equal to 0. When t is equal to negative 0 0.5, the function is still equal to 0. Because as long as the value for t is less than 0, the function is equal to 0. How about negative 0 0.1? Still 0. Negative 0 0.01? Still 0. How about negative 0 0.00001? it's still equal to zero. So, as we get closer and closer to zero, the conclusion would be that the function equals zero. So therefore, it would be assumed that the limit, as t approaches zero, the limit would be zero. But then we see that when we plug in zero for t, the function actually becomes one. So therefore, this technique doesn't appear to be working. Now, what, do we, what happens if we come from the other direction? So again, we have a table of values, t and f of t. And let's say we start at the value 2, and f of t would be 1. And 1, still 1, 0 0.5, still 1, 0 0.1, still 1. You can see that as you get closer and closer and closer to 0, as t approaches 0, the function appears to be equal to 1, 0 0.01, 1, 0 0.001, one and so forth. So it appears that as we approach t from the positive direction, from the number greater than zero and towards zero, we get the limit to be one. And if we approach from the other direction, the negative direction, it appears to be zero. Notice if when we do that, when we approach the limiting value, in this case the limiting value is zero, as we approach zero from the left, from the negative side, and we approach zero from the right, the positive side, if we converge down to zero using this technique, and in that case we get two different values, there is no limit for that evaluation. So therefore, we can say there is no limit because on the one side we get a result zero, on the other side we get the result one. If they're different, there is no limit. And obviously you can see that as we approach zero using this technique, we certainly don't find the value when we plug in the value outright. So when we plug in t equals 1, I'm sorry, when we go back here, when we plug in t equals 0, we get the value for 1 for the function. That does not appear to be the case when we use this technique. And there's a good example where we cannot always find the limit of a function.